Welcome. I'm Janosch and today I will talk about call to actions and how you can add them to your tracking banks. In fact, JotURL provides you with the ability to create customizable and branded call to actions you can add to any of your tracking banks in order to increase your conversion rates, generate leads, and also drive traffic back to your website via content curation or third-party content sharing. Let's see how it works. Let's jump into one of our projects and select a tracking link and go to the tracking link options. Then click on the call to action option. Now, as you can see, you have two choices. You can associate a previously created call to action to your tracking link, or you can create a new call to action template and add them to the tracking link. This is what I'm going to do now. So, JotURL provides you with different kind of call to actions you can customize. Button, form, banner. Well, a form call to action is a call to action where uh, you normally ask people to leave their email in exchange of an advantage you grant them. And a banner call to action is basically an image, an ad and so on. An app snip call to action is a call to action uh, dedicated to mobile app owners. And a social opt-in call to action is a call to action where you are asking people to opt in via their social media account, like the Twitter account, their LinkedIn or Facebook account. We will start with the call to action, with a button call to action example. And first of all, Please note that on the right of the wizard, you always get a preview of the destination page of the tracking link. So this uh, allows you to fine tune the graphics and the design of the call to action with the destination page. Please also note that you can get a desktop preview, a tablet preview, and a mobile device preview. Now let's start customizing the call to action. Let's start with the message. Um, get the podcast guide, for instance, and the action is downloaded. As you can see, the call to action is updated in real time on the right part. Now you have to type in the destination URL or the button means once people click on your button, where do they have to be redirected? Now click on the next button and it's time to customize colors, background color, link, text color, and so on. I will just change the button color, green, and the link text color, let's say white. Great. Then you can position your call to action bottom left, right, top left, right, we'll add center to. You can change the module's appearance, meaning the shape of your call to action. This is the social one, the full white one, smooth corners or rounded corners. We're going to add more modules in the future. Then click on the next button. Now it's time to assign a name to your call to action template. Uh, let's name it podcasting guide Great. and you can add a banner you can add a brand to your call to action like the dog or better this one if you want to add more just click on the camera button type in the brand's name type in the url brands the brand's url sorry uh, namely the url where people are redirected if they click on the brand instead of the button. Then click on this area or just drag and, uh, drag and drop a logo to this area uh, to upload your new logo. I won't do that because I've already done it. And please just watch out at the dimensions of your logo. Great. Now just save your call to action. That's all. 
it's already selected so you have just to save in order to confirm and add the call to action to your tracking link Jot URL notifies you that the call to action is correctly associated to this tracking link with the green flag great let's just copy the tracking link now I will show you what happens let me just move my image my video I will open a new tab paste the tracking link and here it is the destination with our call to action is there great let's go back to our dashboard and just one final note you will find all the call to actions template you are going to create within the call to action section in JotURL dashboard. Uh, this is because JotURL saves all the templates you're going to create for future use and reference. So you can reuse all uh, of your call to action templates in the future for any of your links. So that's all. Thank you for watching and don't miss our next video. Cheers.